Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at why the DJI Ronin app might not be working on your tablet and phone. And the reason for this is some of the DJI apps were actually removed from the App Store a while back. So the update process now has become a little bit difficult. So um, this will work if you're installing it for the first time as well. But basically what we'll do is I've already got it on my phone. So you can see the Ronin apps here. And when I click on it looks like it's going to boot up and then it just closes and <laughs> that would just go on forever it's it's never going to open so the reason for that is because it needs an update but if we come into the play store and then you can see we've got ronin up there hopefully you can just about see that um and then we've got nothing there so we could be a bit more specific you know it should really come up but dji ronin you've got a couple of like third party bits and pieces there but nothing useful so if you can't see that you'll have to take my word for it it's it's not there um so what we'll have to do is jump into chrome and if we just get out of that and we just type in dji ronin whoops dji ronin app and then our first result should be the DJI Ronin Download Center. So it's really important on this. Um, sorry, I'm just going to bring down the brightness of the camera a little bit so you can actually see this. So it's really important that you do actually make sure you go into the DJI website here. Don't go to any third party website. You don't want to be downloading, you know, malware or anything onto your phone. So just make sure it's the actual website. Jump onto that. And it should look something like this. And then it's going to say to you, do you want to download the Android AP APK? And that APK is basically the, the package of the app. So we just press yes. And then it should now start to download it. Um, I've got a older version of it. Uh, so it's going to ask if I want to download it. And it's also going to say this file might be harmful. Um, I know it's not because I've downloaded it in the past and you know I'm confident DJI haven't put any you know anything malicious into these files so um, I just press yes for that so I can open that and then in my phone this might be slightly different for yours so um, mine has a package installer so um, you know you just need to start it up in whatever you can just uh, you might have to go to file manager and click on it and it should start up some kind of package manager if we click on that you can see now it knows that the app is actually there because it says do we want to update it as opposed to do we want to install it so we just hit update and then it's just going to take a second to install it won't take very long it's not a massive app and then it's done and then you can see it's going through and it's still doing the um, the scanning process anyway for the actual app so you can see it scanned it it says it's secure so we do have that peace of mind as well and then we can hit open and you can see now, <laughs> I need to log in, but we've got the um, the actual app is back. And, you know, these updates do come fairly often because they've just, at the time of recording this, they've just released the, um, there's a new RS3 and there's also um, a Mini as well. So there, there's updates coming all the time to this and they've got add-ons and things for, um, for the Ronin. So it's quite often you'll be kind of coming in and, and doing this so it's just worth knowing you know that's how you do it so it's not a bug as such it's just that the app store can't update the apps for you anymore you need to do it manually so hopefully that's been helpful if it has give the video a like um, if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe